For Monday Musings today, we're going to talk about the shadow self. And this part of you, of everybody around you, of everybody you will meet, we will all have this. We will all have what we call the shadow self. And this is what we call the side of our personality that maybe contains the parts of you that you, you actually don't want to admit to having. It's the parts of you that sometimes can be hard to digest, can be hard to accept, um, can be very difficult to maybe work through. And when you're on this energetic path or you're on this spiritual journey or you're just on the path of learning more about yourself, the shadow self is something that you need to address, it's something that you need to understand, it's something that you need to work through and acknowledge. So it's what we call that dark and hidden side of yourself that could trace right back to childhood traits, childhood issues that you might not have acknowledged, that might be ingrained in you, that you're not actually aware of. So it might be a case of you feel the need to deny that side of you. You feel the need to not acknowledge what parts of your shadow self might be like and might need working with. But when you start to work on this side of you, when you start to acknowledge it, when you start to accept it and recognise it and begin to face it, it will help to balance you, it will help to make you whole. It's a bit like yin and yang, by, by having the two sides it becomes one. You start to become more balanced in yourself, you start to become more whole, more healthy, more accepting of, of who you are and what you want to do. So it will help improve relationships with yourself, with others around you, it will help thoughts in your mind, it will help actions of what you actually do and it will allow you to reach what we call your full potential, your full potential of what you can work with and acknowledge and accept. So the shadow self tends to have what we call a, a greater power over you, it will stop you moving forward if you don't work with it, you don't accept it and you don't acknowledge it. So thoughts that you might have might be good, might be bad, actions of where you are, um, by working through them in different ways through the use of therapy. So it could be talking therapy like counselling, um, physical therapies like massage will help because it will help to just ground you, it will help to connect you with who you need to be energy-based ones like crystal healing, like Reiki, like Rahani, spiritual healing, anything on those forms will help to again take more layers off, will help you internalise, will help you go into yourself and find out what you need to work with. If you're on this self-healing path, whether it's for yourself, which then maybe has evolved to work on others, you find that maybe with each energy course that you might have been on it will throw more things up that you need to work with and that tends to be your shadow self. So use self-healing with Reiki, Rahani, crystals that you might want to use on yourself, meditate, enjoy spiritual healing, all of these things will help you find that self-acceptance, that self-compassion of working on yourself and dealing with your shadow self. You have to accept the good and the bad because we will have bad qualities as well as good qualities but once we accept them they're no longer bad, they're acknowledged, they're an awareness there so it helps you to, to move forward, it helps you to accept maybe the negative, the darker side of yourself because we've all got that. So just be aware that you want to embrace all that comes to you, you want to work through it, you want to accept it and you want to acknowledge it. Um, for myself on the path that I'm on, I found that when i done my Karuna Reiki Master, um, that was when the most came up that I had to deal with my shadow self and it was, it was quite a hard experience. It changed relationships that I'd got with those around me, it changed my relationship with myself, 
but all for the good. It helped me acknowledge ways that I behaved, ways that I acted, ways that I thought that actually I needed to change that. I needed to alter my mindset and by altering my mindset, I acknowledged that shadow self. And what you do find um, when you're dealing with aspects like this is it's a continuous process. It's not something that once you accept it, you work with it, it's gone. It, it's not. It's a continuous process that you keep needing to work through. And you find by talking with others, meditating, enjoying therapies in any form will help to make the difference for you.